Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to discuss about piecewise function. In fact, we're going to discuss about how to graph a piecewise function. And let's see an example. Okay, this is what we call a piecewise function. You see, it's defined in this format. And it tells us that the function behaves like negative 2x plus 3 when x is less than 2 and like x minus 1 when x is greater or equal to 2. So what I do usual on this type of things, I do a table. x and y or x and f of x. And I'm going to put some points. I'm going to start with that too. You see these two. That is an important point. And then I'm going to go over a value uh, less than 2. Let's change the color. Um, like uh, 1 and 0. And if you want to pick a negative number, that will be good. And number greater than 2. Let's go back to the red. 3 and 4. Okay. Uh, and I think in this case, 5 points would be good enough because we're talking about two rays. You, you're going to see that. Okay, so let's start with the first one. We're going to use this 0. And when we plug 0, I'm going to get uh, right here. Because 0 is less than 2. And I have negative 2 times 0, which is 0 plus 3. 3. Okay, the same thing. We're going to do 1. We're going to pick that piece of the piecewise function. And we have negative 2 times 1. Negative 2 plus 3. Positive one. So we have two points now, 0 and 3, 1 and 1, and we can graph that uh, side, that piece of the piecewise function, like this. <clears throat> and we, I'm going to come back on this uh, side because uh, I'll show you that we really have to finish a piece on that. But let's go to the uh, bottom one, the red one. And now I'm going to plug 2, 2 minus 1, right? Because we're going to go here. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 2 and 1. This point. We're going to plug 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So we have 3 and 2. And the last one I have here, 4. And obviously 4 minus 1 is 3. So we have the third one. So this is the right side. And this is the one that we don't have to do anything. But now why don't you take a look. And uh, on the top one we have x less than then 2, and we stop at 1, right? The last value we took is 1. Now, you have two choices here. You can take some value between 1 and 2, like 1.5, 1.9, 1.99, which is kind of crazy, right? Uh, and plug it in and see what value you get. Or you can simply do this. Keep plot graphing that uh, left side because we really need to take care of number between 1 and 2, right? Keep graphing following the same pattern you did for the uh, left side. And whenever you reach uh, that vertical line, let's say like that, at x equals 2, you need a empty dot. Empty dot if you have no equal, full dot. If you have equal. Hopefully this video clip will help you to understand better a piecewise function. If you like the video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back for more video clips on C-square. Thank you.